Maureen. Thank you. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet, Good. but it's coming. It is. Thank you. All right, gang. So for those of you that were not able to attend yesterday, and a reminder for those who were able to attend, we got uh, all of us working with our toes and our yeah. feet. Um, now, some other things, key things that we talked about along with our toes is engaging the glutes. So just as a quick reminder, if everyone can just put their hands just on the sides of their hips. And I want you to tighten up your glutes oh, and no. you should feel them <laughs> flex and then relax. So remember, we've talked about, you know, pretending to crush a walnut between your bum cheeks. <laughs> Some silly imagery to help you understand what we want those glutes to do. So tighten them and relax. Because I'm going to be reminding you throughout class today to get those fired up and when. And I'm going to give you those little reminders about, you know, gripping the ground with your foot, right? Pressing those toes into the ground, not right. curling them up, but pressing them. Okay. And today's going to be lots and lots of fun. Now, just have a quick look around you. Make sure there's nothing to step on or trip over. Today, we are going to need a stretchy band. And if you do not have a stretchy band, but you want some resistance, you are more than welcome to use uh, a weight, soup cans, water bottle, anything you can scrounge up at home. And another quick reminder is if you get to the point where it's harder to breathe, you're um, feeling like your heart's racing and you need to bring it back down. You can go into your recovery breathing. That recovery position is slightly bent over to open up your airways. And let's do a couple of our breaths together here to start our warm up. Just breathe in nice and slow, trying to fill up your belly. And then breathing out through pursed lips, nice and slow. Breathe in and out. Two more. Breathe in and out. Once again, breathing in, fill up that belly. Oh, okay. Anyways, I'm just starting my and out. Perfect. All right, gang. Try to maintain that steady, slower breathing as we start to get moving. So taking just your feet, hopefully you can see them. We're going to move our feet side to side, side to side. It's like windshield wipers are on your feet. This is for all those coastal folk that get a lot of rain. <laughs> Thank you. Just to remind you of where you are. <laughs> yeah, we'll never forget that. <laughs> no. Sunny today, though. Yep. That's oh, right. brilliant. Very nice today. In the Okanagan, too. Nice and sunny. So just keep moving those feet side to side, gang. Now, try to keep those feet moving. And again, if you need to move just one foot at a time, <laughs> you can. Okay, but now what I want you to try is get your hands moving so if i have my palms facing me i pull my thumb and then point them away so my hand is waving just from the wrist palms facing each other pull it in them towards you and push them away pull them towards you push them away almost like you're turning a crank with both hands some of you might have one wrist that feels tighter than the other. That's okay. Always good to get a little bit of that mobility through our hands. And relax there, making circles from your elbow. So again, let's bring us back to that steady breathing pattern. As we start to ramp up, working harder and harder, we're still trying to breathe steadily and deeply as best we can. Good. Now, as we move those hands in a circle, let's start to lift up the toe or lift up the heels and down. 
So lift up the heels and then put them back down. Lift the heels, put them back down. Change directions of that circle of your hands. Try to keep your heels lifting up and down. Remember that the more parts of your body that are moving, especially the bigger muscle groups, the more oxygen your body needs. So you might need to adjust today based on however you are feeling. Let's get our hands moving in the same direction. For some reason that sometimes messes us up. <laughs> Keep those feet moving if you can and reverse. There we go. And relax. All right, touching one heel forward at a time. So as you reach your heel forward, I really want you pulling those toes up to the ceiling. That way we're getting a little bit of a stretch in the back of our legs as we start to warm up. And then you can just bring your hands together and slowly lift up and down. So again, my arms are moving more slowly than my feet. There we go. So keep those feet touching in front, holding those toes up to the ceiling and those arms slowly lift up and slowly <clears throat> come back down. That's it, everybody. And rest those arms. Now we're reaching our foot out and pointing our toes. So trying to straighten your toes out in front of you. You should feel that little bit of a stretch at the front of your shin. So point the toes, touch those toes out in front. And now take your arms, elbows bent. You're lifting them up to the side and down. Lift up to the side and down. A little bitty this, I'm a little bitty that. <laughs> and we can make a teapot, Terry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could be that too. So try to get those arms moving slower than your feet. And press up from your elbows. So get elbows and wrist moving as one. There we go, team. Excellent. Can hear some of you keeping up that breathing pattern. That's wonderful. Keep it up. And rest. All right, now really focusing on our glutes here, I need you to tighten up and keeping strong through your hips. You're gonna slowly lift up one knee and down. So we're slowly lifting up one knee and down, thinking about keeping those glutes tight the whole time. <coughs> and the goal is to not let your hips or torso move at all. So if you keep those glutes tight, you'll be able to manage that. There we go, team. Now, as you slowly lift up one knee at a time, keeping those glutes tight, can you start to push your arms out in front and back? So again, adding to that challenge of keeping those glutes tight, while different limbs move, adding to the challenge of maintaining your breathing pattern. There we go, gang. Can everyone feel that? Yeah. Feeling yourself struggling to stay strong and stable? Nice. 
There you go. Okay, and relax, shake it out. Okay, now put your hands on the outsides of your, of your knees. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of a battle between your hands and your knees. So your knees are going to try to push out slightly, make sure, making sure your feet don't lift off the ground. And you're gonna accomplish that by tightening your glutes, tightening the glutes to push the knees out. And your hands are gonna resist. And we're gonna to count to three. Okay, and just go slow to start, okay? Just go a little bit gentler and then you can start to ramp up the intensity of it, the challenge and go. So we're tightening those glutes, push those knees against those hands. Two, three, relax. And push. Two, three, relax. And push. Two, three, relax. And really focus on tightening those glutes. That's the prime mover to, to get those knees going. And go. Two, three, relax. Nice work, everybody. And go. Two, three, relax. And go. Two, three, relax. And go. Two, three, relax. We're gonna do three more. And go. Two, three, relax. Two more. Go. Two, three, relax. And last one, go. Two, three, and relax. Okay, did everyone feel their glutes? Yep. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the last thing we're gonna do, well, not the last, cause it's gonna come up frequently today, but I want you to really tighten up those glutes, tighten up that belly. So think about trying to pull that belly button in a little bit, and then we're pumping our arms. So the more quickly you pump your arms, both the more oxygen you need, cause it's more intense, and the harder it is to tighten your core and glutes. So I want you to find a piece that's challenging yet doable. So are you going intensely enough that it's challenging to keep that core and glutes tight and maintain your breathing, but you have to fight a little bit to do it? There we go. Think about swinging those elbows back behind you. Swing those elbows back behind you. That'll help. There we go. Keep everything tight. If you're feeling good, you can try going a little bit faster. And we're breathing. I'm trying to breathe out through pursed lips, especially if you have COPD. That helps prevent you from being as breathless. And relax. That was a good challenge, gang. Well done. So again, remember, if you need to stop for a moment and go into your recovery breathing, especially breathing out through pursed lips, no problem, that's great, you do that. And if you feel like you're panting, remember you can just start to slow down your breathing, right? When you can't take that super deep breath, then it looks more like this. And then as it starts to settle down and you start getting your breathing under control, it gets slower and deeper. Okay, awesome, awesome. So do what you need to do. Now, if you are feeling confident about standing up, you are going to think about pressing your toes into the ground. You're gonna think about tightening your glutes. And you were going to slowly stand up. And again, super, super tight through those glutes. And then down, nice and slow. Now, if you are not comfortable standing up, you are, the first part's going to be the same. You're going to press your toes in the ground. You're going to tighten up your glutes. But then you're just shifting your weight forward so that your feet push down as if you're about to get up out of the seat and then relax. So again, if you're staying seated, press your toes down, tighten those glutes. 
lean forward to push your feet into the ground and then relax. Lean forward, push your feet into the ground and relax. Oh, and breathe. <laughs> Another thing to think about. Remember, it's, it's, it is helpful to breathe out as you go to stand up. That's where the most effort is. And that exhale uh, does help give you a bit more strength. Great job, everybody. There we go, and rest. That was, that was lots. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping some of you would get to 20. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no. Not everybody, because some of us, we're still starting out. We can do a couple, and then we rest, and that's great. All right, team. So, well done. Did everyone get their glutes engaged on that? Like, they yep. should feel a bit tired. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good, Man, I know. No one's really ever asked you if your bum has gotten tired yet, have they? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> this class is about new experiences. <laughs> All right. Now, if you've got a stretchy band, I want you to grab that now. And now is a great time to sneak a sip of water as well. Hopefully you're sipping water throughout class. All right, team. Now, the next couple of exercises you can do seated or standing. <clears throat> Standing is going to be a bit more challenging on your balance, so make sure you're feeling quite confident on two feet today. And again, I want you to constantly remember, are those glutes engaged, is that core engaged to help you perform the movements, okay? Now, arms out in front. Again, the lower they are, the less pressure on the neck and shoulders. So if you've got a sore neck, keep the arms lower. Now, I'm going to tighten up. And I'm going to pull one arm out to the side, making sure you don't have too much tension on that band. If you've got a really heavy band, just put some more slack um, in the starting part of the band rather than tight. So just pull, and you're trying to resist this arm following. You don't want any movement through your hips and shoulders. And then slowly bring it back. We're just working the one side. So just the one arm is pulling out to the side and back. And you are focused on that core and those glutes remaining tight. And breathe. Maintain that breathing pattern. Remember, it's helpful to breathe out as you pull that band out to the side. And pull slow because you really want to feel that your body doesn't shift with that band. So that's eight for me. So I'm going to do two more. And last one. Perfect. So now we're switching arms. If you need to roll your shoulders back in between to rest them, that's no problem. And now we're going again. Oh that other arm this time. Keep those glutes tight, keep that core tight. Excellent job, everybody. Keep up that breathing pattern. Remember, it's helpful to breathe out as you pull. Okay, that's seven for me, so I've got three more. And last one. There, once again, you can shake those shoulders out. 
you've got an itch on your nose like I do, now you can scratch it. <laughs> Good. Now, gang, you're doing fantastic. The next thing I want you to do is you're going to put the band underneath your feet. There we go. Okay, so now my one hand is going to pull the band up. So that's in a bicep curl. And the goal is to not use your body to lift it, help you lift up. So again, I want you concentrating on keeping those glutes tight, pulling that belly button in a little bit, holding that as you pull that weight up. And again, if you don't have a band at home and I um, didn't bring this up for the previous exercise, um, you're welcome to use a weight here. There we go, team. Remember, it's helpful to breathe out as you pull that band up. That's eight for me. I may have gone a little rogue with the counting, though. So that's 10 or some other number. <laughs> we never quite know, do we, gang? Not for you, Jill. More the better. Now switch hands. So now our other hand is pulling that band up. And once again, we're trying to keep that core tight and those glutes tight and maintaining as we lift up that band, which is hard to do, isn't it? Doing another movement yeah. with resistance. Yeah, it makes it a lot harder to focus on key. Those glutes are tight, that core is tight, but that's how we need to practice so that those muscles are supporting us while we're walking and picking up boxes and putting things away and doing all our day-to-day -day stuff. Three more, gang. Excellent. And last one. Perfect. Feel free to shake out those arms, shake out those legs. How's everybody feeling? Good. Great. Wonderful. All right, we've done three exercises. We're going to do them again. And some of you might be thinking, oh no, that means sit stands. <laughs> You're right. But that's okay. If you only get through three or five or eight, that's awesome. Go within your capacity today. All right. So once again, we're going to stand up. And the first thing I want you thinking about is can your toes press into the ground? Can we tighten up those glutes? and slowly stand up and then slowly sit back down. Press those toes into the ground, tighten up those glutes. And again, if you're not standing up, we're just shifting our weight forward, pushing oh. our feet into the ground and then relaxing. <sighs> Oh. Great job, gang. Really, really focus on those glutes, especially if you've got sore knees. And go slow. Make sure you can feel everything tightening up. Excellent job, gang. Maintain your breathing. I know I'm giving you loads of things to think about today. Hello. <laughs> and rest. Well done, gang. Good. Yeah. I see some of you are being really on top of um, getting a sip of water. That's awesome. 
you had said something about that you might have people bringing stuff. Right. And I. Oh. Member gang, if we get a phone call or if someone comes into the room, if we can put ourselves on mute, that is super, super appreciated because we can hear everything. <laughs> and sometimes that's okay. And sometimes it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. Now, once again, we've got that band. Remember, if gripping it is sore, you can always wrap that band around the palms of your hands. Okay, and again, you can do this seated or standing, whatever you're comfortable doing. So you need well, now tighten up those glutes, tighten up the core, and pull that arm out to the side, and then slowly bring it back. And we're doing just the one arm, not switching. And as that one arm pulls, the other stays nice and still. Um, Remember, sore neck or shoulders, just drop the hands lower. Keep up your breathing, gang. Remember, it is helpful to breathe out as you pull that band to the side. Well done, everybody. Nine and 10 remember if you need to you can roll out those shoulders in between and then we're doing the other side again tighten up and pull this time with your other arm great job everybody Keep up that breathing pattern. That's eight, nine, and 10. Roll those shoulders out, gang. All right, that third exercise we did was band under the feet. Again, we're thinking about everything staying tight and we're Pulling up one hand, bending at the elbow and down. So just the one side for 10. If you get to 10 and we're still going, you can get all the way up to 15. So again, gang, it's challenging here. We have to focus and intentionally tighten up our glutes and core as we work against resistance. And switching sides, team. Pulling that hand up, slowly bringing it back down. And we're focused on glutes staying tight, pulling that belly button in. And it is helpful to breathe out as you lift that hand up. There we go, team. You guys look awesome and rest there. Remember, if you need to, you can roll those shoulders out. Now's a great time to grab a sip of water. You can bring that band out from underneath your feet. Excellent job, gang. How's everybody feeling? Good. Good. Now, we've got you thinking about your glutes and core. Now, let's get the heart rate up. 
Oh no, everyone's thinking. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Um, so the, uh, for the next couple of exercises, team, you are welcome to use your resistance uh, band um, to add to the intensity of the movement to get your heart rate up. Just be cautious. You don't want to be straining against the weight. Um, so for example, if I, get, if I were to get you guys opening up your arms and closing them, and you wanted to add a band to add to that challenge, it shouldn't be um, so tight that you're straining to pull it and then relaxing straining to pull it it should feel like it's just adding a little bit extra of a challenge does that make sense yeah yeah okay, so just be aware of that um that's actually the first movement we are going to do to give your legs a little bit of a rest because they're going to work hard next so either with the band or without do what is best for you it is about getting your heart rate up you're pulling your hands apart and bringing them close together again so it's a pull close pull close, pull, close. Again, don't need your band for this. And if you aren't using your band, I just encourage you to try to make a fist as long as you don't have any pain in your hands. And that's just gonna help your muscles engage a little bit better. Now, once again, we're tightening those glutes. Oh. Tighten those glutes and maintain that breathing pattern. Remember, you shouldn't be straining with the band. If it feels like you're straining, you can't move it very far, you either need more slack in the band or just to not use a band for this. This is all about getting your heart rate up. And we've got three, two, and one, rest your arms. You can even put them on your hips if you'd like. And we're um, stepping one foot forward at a time. Just like in warm up. But this time, again, the purpose is we're trying to get that heart rate up. We are trying to get ourselves breathing a little bit harder, trying to make our heart work harder while keeping it challenging yet doable. There we go, gang. Get those feet moving forward and back. You've got 10 more seconds if you can. Three, two, and rest. There we go, gang. So once again, um, either with just your arms, or um, if you want to use uh, a weight or a water bottle, or if you want to use your band, then just get it around your back. But the movement is, is we're pushing our arms up and down, up and down. So can you press them up overhead? If overhead doesn't feel good on your neck and or shoulders, just press your arms slash band slash weight out in front. And once again, the goal is to get the heart rate up. So if you've got too much resistance, then we're not working more cardio. We're working more on strength. And we want that heart working. Oh, someone's got a phone call. Sorry. That's I okay. It. I muted it. There you go. You were fast acting on that. Yeah. Woo. I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, it happens. No worries. And rest. Whew. All right, team. Once again, we're going to work those legs. So we're working arms, legs, arms, legs. So much fun. I want you just tapping your toe out to the side. And once again, can we pull that belly button in a little bit? Tighten up that core. Get those feet moving. Oops, I started to dance instead of getting my core tight. Sometimes you just need to dance. Okay. 
Keep up that breathing, gang. Are we getting those heart rates up, guys? Yes. Yep. Yep. Good. <laughs> Remember, it's okay to have to be breathing faster. It's okay for your heart to be beating faster as well. Uh, you just don't want to feel shaky. You don't want to feel like you can't breathe or can't catch your breath at all. Um, if that happens, then you need to just stop for a moment, go into your recovery position and focus on those slower, deeper breaths. And rest. Excellent, excellent gang. Now again, take your band or it's just your arms. And we're pulling our arms open and closed, open and closed. And again, I can easily do that without a band. If I'm going to do it without a band, then I just want to think about if I can to make a fist with my hands. There we go, team. Keep up your breathing. Only got about 10 seconds left. Then we switch it up again. Breathe and rest those arms. That next one is tapping one foot forward at a time. So I'm tapping my feet forward. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep up your breathing. Quiet group today. I guess that means we're working hard. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're pretty nonstop today. Mm -hmm. Auto's time to challenge our heart and lungs. Challenge our endurance. You guys are doing awesome. And rest your feet. Remember the next one with either the band or a weight or just your arms is pushing uh, your arms up overhead. Unless you've got a sore shoulder or neck, then it's just out in front of you. And again, the goal here, guys, isn't strength. So you want a little bit less tension on the band, but this is about getting your heart rate up. So often we want to be moving a little bit quicker compared to our strength. Right? Building muscle strength is a slow pushing up, bringing it back down, but building heart strength is a little bit quicker. Last couple of seconds. Three. Two, and rest those arms. All right, now we're tapping our feet out to the side. Tap to the side, tap to the side. There we go, gang, tap that foot, tap that foot. Remember, we're thinking about keeping that belly button pulled in. And just do what you can. This class is all about you. Except when we do a paddling exercise, then it's about me. <laughs> it's almost canoeing season, guys. <laughs> What date are you going there? Going where, Clancy? Into the lake. Into the lake? Well, we're going to prep the canoe this weekend. I'd go Rest. into the lake, uh, beyond the lake. <laughs> well, yes. Rest those legs, gang. Yeah, prepping the canoe this weekend. We just got to um, repaint it. It was getting pretty chipped. Are you um, putting it in the water? Are you launching it? Uh, depends how nice it is on, oh no, not Sunday. Sunday, my girls have a game. 
So we'll have to wait until either next week in an evening or knowing my schedule, probably next weekend. <laughs> That's an idea. That's that how it works. There's just a lot of wind right now. And yes, that's right. And that's why we, we never go on Okanagan Lake. That's just asking for trouble. Where do you yeah. go? Calgary? Yeah, we pick smaller lakes. Like, well, up in Peachland, there's Silver Lake. There's yeah. um, Beaver Lake and Duck Lake. Um, kind of more in the closer to, closer to you, closer to Vernon. Yeah. Right. That's a good idea. That's yeah, lots of little smaller lakes. And fishing, too, which is great. Oh, yeah, um, so good. So gang, I just want to get you started on your, on your next one again. So we're going to sit up nice and tall. Again, you can do this standing. You're more than welcome to, but I just want you punching your arm. So we're going to get into a little bit of a favorite shadow boxing. But the goal here is, can you keep your glutes and core tight the whole time? So punch, punch, punch. We're getting that heart rate up. Punch, punch, punch. Woo! Well, the golfers are out, but there's no short sleeves out there yet. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> nope, not yet. Still got to keep warm. Last couple of seconds, gang. Remember, the goal here is get that heart rate up, get those lungs working harder, challenging but doable. And rest. All right, well, we brought up canoeing, so you might as well, either with your hands together, a weight makes it more challenging. I just want you moving your arms from shoulder down to the hip, shoulder to hip, shoulder to hip. And again, that goal gain, can we keep those glutes tight? Keep that core tight as we paddle. Can we switch directions though? I'm getting tired of going in circles. <laughs> nope. We gotta go in circles and then we'll go in more circles just the other way. Can't we switch in between? <laughs> and switch. There we go, gang. Glutes tight, core tight, and breathing. Makes it so much fun. Okay, last couple of seconds. One side, then the other. One side, then the other. Oh, finally we go on the straight line. There you go. I didn't think I'd ever see you on the straight and narrow, Terry. No, you're, you're too much trouble. Way. There we go, gang. One after the other. Keep that core tight. Keep those glutes tight. I can tell which of you have paddled before and maybe some of you that have not. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> <clears throat> and rest. No matter what though, you look better than I do when playing basketball. <laughs> Terrible basketball player. <laughs> Spent too much time with a ball at my feet. Foot eye coordination, <laughs> not hand yeah, eye. Yeah, soccer, yeah. <laughs> okay, dream team. So, did everyone get their heart rates up? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Just always yes. The thing. Perfect. And remember, the goal is to keep moving. And if you need to take those breaks, you do that. And we just keep track of that over the next couple of weeks, right? Track how often you need to take a rest. Track how tired you feel after class versus energized. How much are you able to do in a day after class? Because that talks about your capacity for energy, right? When we do a big effort, like our exercises, and then if you still have some capacity later, that's good. That's an improvement, right? Versus doing exercises. And I know some of my people come up to me and they go, geez, I needed a nap after that. <laughs> and that's okay. And that's okay. But as you start to build your capacity, you'll have more energy too. And you'll be able to do more even after the big effort of exercises. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to do before we get into a bit of mobility and stretching 
So we're gonna sit up tall and, I, and I'm quite sure I've done this with you guys before. Now I want you to think about your ribs and your hips. I want them to stay stacked over top of one another. You can even use your hands here or on your hips for a bit of a, a visual because I want you slightly leaning back, just enough that you feel that tension in your belly and then pull yourself forward. And if I've got my hands here, it just shows me that I'm not um, shifting side to side. I'm just going <laughs> straight back and then slowly coming forward. Again, you can have your hands here or hands on your hips. Make sure we're not slumping we're up nice and tall. Great job, team. Keep up that breathing. And let's try to do three more nice and slow. Can anyone feel their glutes engaging as well? Yeah. After all that work we did of getting them to work today, they're starting to just get fired up. That's awesome. And one last one. And relax. Well done, gang. That was awesome. Super, super great. All right, let's get our hands on our belly. Actually, let's turn our palms up to the sky and then just slowly pull those hands apart and then bring them back in. Slowly pull your hands apart and bring them back in. Pull those hands apart, bring them back in. There we go. So again, we're keeping those elbows close to you. We want that rotation at your shoulder. You might feel a little bit of tightness at the front of your chest. You might feel a little bit of a pull in the back of your shoulder blades because those are the muscles that are working to pull your arms open. Does anyone feel that slight stretch across their chest? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Good. All right, shake that out. Now we're reaching one arm down to the ground and the other straight up. And then you can do that slight little lean towards that bottom arm. So we're getting our arms to stretch away from each other. Keep your, up your breathing, nice and steady. Is it possible to blow a glute? Yes. And slowly switch arms. You think you you think you um, hurt your glute a little bit, Ron? No, just it's vibrating. That's all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a new career. So, so <laughs> that's funny. Um, what that often is is fatigue. I wasn't actually trying to be funny. It was actually kind of a. I'm a little bit scared, but not really. Kind of a. Thing. Yeah. Is it? Does it just feel like a little bit of a tremor? Yeah. Yeah. That's often fatigue, there, Ron. Okay. Is it on your I left side? Thought, I just thought maybe I had a scared ass. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. It's. Is it on your left side, Ron? No, on my right. On your right side? Yeah. If it was in Australia, it would be the other cheek. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> what we call that twerky, isn't it? Slowly relax those arms. Now put one leg out in front of you. My heel is on the ground, and then hinge forward at your hips. Go slow. Be gentle with stretching, uh, and we'll see if a little bit of a stretch run will help it out. Let's release that hamstring first. Oh, it doesn't. 
Yeah, so if you ever get any um, tremor or twitch in a muscle, has anyone else ever had that or a flutter? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so what that is, to give you a really brief clinical explanation or scientific explanation, is the way your muscles work, it's called a contraction, right? The muscle has to tighten up to pull at your joints so that your muscle moves or that so your limb moves. Is everyone familiar with that? Yeah. Your muscles contract. Now, how they contract is actually by a little bit of electricity. And what that means is, is your nervous system, there's different chemicals in your nervous system that flow in and out of these, there's potassium, sodium channels and all that, but we won't get into that. But what happens is there needs to be a certain amount of stimulation for that nerve to actually tell the muscle, okay, contract. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's not just an, it's not necessarily just an on or off. You can start to increase and then it contracts and then it tapers off that stimulation. Now, when you get that twitch, there's enough stimulation that that muscle is kind of on standby. It's kind of ready. It's, it's almost activated but it's not quite there ready to contract and then relax. So I hopefully, hopefully everyone switch legs there. So two things that can help that either you can stretch it out a little bit and that often helps. And the other thing you can do, the other thing you can do is tighten it, slowly start to tighten it. So you can try this Ron, slowly start to tighten it and hold and then harder, 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 and then relax. Did you do it, Ron? Yeah, they're they're underutilized. Those babies. Yeah. So is it still is it still fluttering a little bit? Yeah, I I I I'm a bit of a keener. I always overdo it when there's a new thing. So that's okay, Ron. So, so that's off. okay. What you need to do, and if if everyone if you're able to do this, I'm going to show you two different ways. The best way to stretch that is to get if you can get this heel up onto your thigh, and gently lean in towards that knee. That's the best way to stretch out that glute. Ooh. Now, if you can't quite get that leg up there, you're going to straighten one leg and then cross over at the heel. Ooh. And then you can pull it in a little bit and then lean forward. And you can get that slight pull in there, but be gentle. So Ron, it shouldn't feel like a super, super yeah. intense stretch. Yeah. Does it feel tight though? No, no, it's just, you, I could tell I used it and I was just, yeah, it's good. And and Ron, it's really okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, I've had like sore muscles, just not in that area. <laughs> yeah, so it can be a bit startling because you're going, what the heck? I didn't even know yeah. muscles could do that there. I don't usually <laughs> look behind. Yeah, it's all, but it's okay. It's okay that it does that and it's normal that it would do that after so many fatiguing things we did for it today. Switch legs. So that would be expected for it to do that. Or we're down here, gang. Remember, there's that alternative. If you can't get that leg up that high. Okay. Relax there, pull up that arm, push that elbow back. Remember we're trying to take those slower, deeper breaths. Holy switch. Is everyone okay? Yeah. Perfect. And slowly relax there. Okay, gang, we're going to take um, 
three or four slow, deep breaths, and I'm gonna count it for you. Now, remember, it all it depends on you and where your lungs are at. The goal is to inhale for three to five seconds, try to pause, and then exhale for four to six seconds. Now, remember, it should be challenging, but if we push too hard on that inhale, that can cause your lungs to spasm. You can go into, um, get into some coughing. So just start slow and just slowly push it, okay? So, and remember, you can, um, you're welcome to slowly lift those arms up. That can help that rib cage expand on that inhale, or you can just keep your hand on your belly, your choice. Now, slowly breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold, out, two, three, four, five, six, and then a shorter count, one, two, three, pause, out, two, three, four, then one more different count in two, three, four, pause out two, three, four, five. And whichever count felt best for you <coughs> once more breathing in <laughs> that pause at the top, if you can and out through pursed lips. Now I want you to quickly think, okay, what count felt best for me where it felt like you were getting that slow, deep breath, but it wasn't going to start up any coughing. And I actually want you to practice 10 of those breaths every day, right? All the cardio stuff and strength we do, it's really great for you, your lungs, your heart, your muscles. But throughout the day, if you can add in some extra breathing, that is only gonna help you even more. Okay, now, awesome job today. How is everybody feeling? Great. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Jill. Thank you.